one of the fans was kind of staying behind and I noticed that she was limping. Something was wrong. After a while, the fan got tired. Mom had no choice just to leave because if she stayed with the injured fan, she would greatly jeopardize the healthy one and jeopardize herself. She would be in a great danger. She had like very small chance to survive through the night because it's very busy, a lot of predators. I was watching from a distance with my binoculars. I, I saw her laying, I watched her for a long time until it got dark. Be in very remote area and uh, it just uh, no rehab anywhere nearby. So the only choice was to take her in and try to help her. And I brought her into my bedroom. She seemed like she was happy to see someone. She was happy to see even me. She had no fear and seemed like she was happy. Well, I knew there's something wrong with her leg right away because she, uh, the leg could not hold her body. I decided to make a brace to support the leg. I had to feed her every four hours, so I became a parent for her. I gave her my jacket and the jacket became a comforting blanket for her. Dogs were very shocked, especially Mac, the Miss Malcolm dog. He just fell in love and started licking her and uh, protecting her. I never left her out of sight. I'm sure he, he noticed that it's a very small, a very young baby and he decided to take her under his wing. She had a brace for about five days and then I noticed that she's getting better and better, the, able to make longer and longer walks. She was completely healed. When her leg got better, I knew that would be best for her to live in the wilderness, to live with her own species. We worried that she will be attached too much and will be hard to release her. This evening I'm going to see if I can find some deer, um, doe deer, that uh, would be looking for her farm. We live in this very unique area. We're surrounded by mountains. It's kind of like a box canyon. The animals usually stay in the boundaries, and I knew that your mother is somewhere around. If I can find your mother, then I could find another deer that I'm looking to adopt. I tried to release um, our baby deer in the field and see what happens. I gave her my, my t-shirt, my shirt, uh, her favorite shirt. She really likes my shirt. I took her to the meadows where usually a lot of deer um, graze on the grass. I was hoping that one of them gonna come close and kind of check her. got too close so every time I tried to leave her in the field she was coming back to me and I couldn't leave her and I was away from the property and my friend uh, managed to reunite her with her original mother Yeah, I see them many times. I see them coming back and um, growing up. She did not recognize me. Sometimes she stops and kind of stares at me. But every time I try to approach to her, she just kind of turns around and, and walks away. It felt very good, very, very good feeling to see that she's, uh, she's back in the wild and brother and with the mother living the life she can experience fully. Like, comment, and subscribe.